everybody, it's Ms. Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library at our downtown Lancaster branch and today we are talking about some spooky season books. Yay! So as we know Halloween is almost upon us and so I have pulled some seasonally appropriate things. The first one is we just got this sequel in. It is called The OK Witch and the Hungry Shadow. It is the sequel to The OK Witch by Emma Stein Kellner. These are both wonderful. They're funny, they're great, they're amazing. In the first book, we meet Moth Hush. She is 13. She lives with her single mom in a town called Founders Bluff. And she learns that she is a witch in a town with a complicated history towards witches. Only is it really history if it's not completely in the past? Dun, dun, dun. And then in the sequel, uh, Moth is continuing to learn more about magic, including that it can't solve all of your problems and that you really don't want to use, try to use magic to change who you are. She also learns about standing up to bullies without becoming bullies, which has been a popular uh, theme with some of this year's books, which are really great. Uh, these books also feature a talking cat, really great dialogue and fantastic art. Moth herself is a really energetic, fun, funny kind of geeky, enthusiastic kind of main character. I absolutely love her. So give these two a shot. They are, of course, graphic novels, my one true love. So read them, love them. And for my second one today, on the creepier end of the spectrum, though I wouldn't call it really horror so much as it's just very atmospheric, it is Root Magic by Eden Royce. It, the year is 1963, and Jezebel and her twin brother Jay are learning root magic, or African American folk magic, uh, from their uncle, Doc. Their grandmother also practiced root, and the book opens with her funeral. So is she completely gone? Hmm, well, let's find out. Um, but they're learning all of this root just in time because evil is brewing in their South Carolina community and not all of it is magical. Jez is going to need all of the tools and knowledge and that she can get. The history in this book, the setting in this book, they're all A+. They're all super great. Um, and it's been really hard for me to put this book down to come into work, is all I have to say about that. So. If these don't float your boat, we have loads of other spooky time books, including True Horror, which I will be talking about in my next book talk, so log in soon to hear me. Have a nice day, everybody. Bye!